Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's Claymore the Anime. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Today is August the 15th, and we're taking a look at the anime Claymore. That's right, and this anime came out in 2007. It was created by Norihiko Yagi, directed by Hiroyuki Tamaka, and it was done by Madhouse Studios. <laughs> I, hope you didn't, I hope you didn't notice me staring right at the face when I read those names. Um, it's 26 episodes long, and it's an interesting um, show. Basically, the premise is the Claymores uh, are a given name by people, so they don't really have a name for their group. Um, they're just these female warriors who go around killing... They go around killing Yomas, or essentially doing whatever the organization assigns to them, them to do. Um, but it's normally just killing Yomas. And so basically, they're called Claymores because they, they have these giant Claymores, and each of them has their own little fighting style. Each of them has their own little name and their own little symbol, and I really like those symbols. I think those symbols are so damn cool. They're cool. Um, and they go around, and so we're following Claire, uh, the, the first episode, uh, you, you follow Claire as she takes care of this village that has Yomas, and this little boy who's lost, well, he's not that little, but, you know, he's, he's a child, he's a, I don't know, he's, I guess he's a teenager. Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. Uh, so he, he loses his entire family to them, and he starts following her around. At first, she doesn't want him to, but then she kind of says, okay, you can come as long as you cook for me, even though she doesn't have to eat. She's essentially being a nice person, even though they're really not supposed to have any emotions or any type of care about humans. But that's, that's I don't know, I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, there's there's so much to uncover. So. Right, right. So that's basically the, uh, the premise of Claymore. Uh, why don't you take it away? I love Claymore. I love this anime. I love the manga as well, uh, what I've read. And I know that this anime gets a lot of flack for the last two episodes, being nothing like the manga. And that's pretty much because the anime came to this point where it's like, boy, we don't really know what's happening, and we need we have two episodes left, we've got to wrap it up. And so they did what they thought, apparently, was like the most appropriate ending. Unfortunately, the last two episodes definitely derails um, the, the character arc of, of uh, Claire and uh, of Rocky, in, in a little bit and it kind of ruins those two episodes for me but having said that if you just take this anime alone the two episodes aren't enough to really jar you it's an okay ending i suppose um but if you want to read more about it you'll have to forget those two episodes so 24 episodes is what you should focus on they are very actually close to the manga and they are great i think um i love the music you get like this kind of like metal infused and then i love that electronic low rumbly music right, they use all right. the time i freaking love that it just gets in your head and um i i like the characters i'm very much into strong female characters and we get a lot of those and they are they are not oversexed mostly i mean there are a few moments where it's kind of like eh, but there's no real fan service which i kind of appreciate and i really do enjoy like you said the symbols that are representations of their name and so you're looking for what symbols that was and I love the the play in time a little bit. They go to Teresa's story, which Teresa and Claire, you know, again, we don't want to spoil it, but there's just so much fun in here. Now, a lot of people who don't like this anime have said, you know, like Claire is like super cold and all the, most of these girls are like really cold and, you know, whatever. But it's like, well, so, I mean, if it was a male character, most people wouldn't care. I don't right. know what you're expecting. Do you want them to all, you know, be bubbly or something? But it's true. in these characters, there's enough range for sure. I mean, we've got like Helen, who's like a bitch, you know, but a, kind of a happy bitch. Yeah. So anyway, um, the Yoma also get kind of like the love-hate thing. I like them personally. Um, some of them go a little too far, like the spider one and all that stuff. But I kind of like the base one. My favorite is the uh, Silver Eyed King when he has like that kind of beastie, like lion kind of thing. I love that. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I think you know it's very action packed. In fact, I'm gonna say that it's almost too action packed because boy, those battles can drag out. And I'm looking at you, you know, Dragon Ball Z. It kind of feels like that. It's like holy crap, just end. You know, like honestly. Well, I don't know if that's oh, completely dude, accurate it, because dude. Dragon Ball Z. Definitely took the action pack to a whole new level. I mean, I, an entire episode of Piccolo charging up is 
is just freaking a little, retarded. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I, I've never, Loved I've never enjoyed that ridiculous. just because uh, to me it kind of undermines what they're doing. Right. Because it's like, well, if they can keep it up for so long, and then they finally they tap into some secret power with this character, but it's like you had a fight like five minutes ago. Why didn't you do it then? To you know, whatever. But having said that, it is very enjoyable, and if you like action, there's plenty of it there. Um, there's this weird thing where all of them apparently have grotesque something, and if you look at Yoma, you can kind of you know maybe derive out of that what it might be, like right. maybe it's an exposed spine or something. But there's like some ickiness about them. That when they show it, people are like, I'm going to, you know, take you or whatever. And it's like, I'm going to oh, take you. I don't want to say that. I know. I hate that kind of thing. I hate rape. Uh, but so you see it and you're like, I mean, actually, you never see yes, it. You, but never you see it. it. You see it happen. Other and people that's kind react. Of fun. Um, and then there's a lot of limb removal. <laughs> Lots of limbs go flying. Yes. And it leads to a really fun thing, I think. Um yeah, I can't I can't spoil it. But and then some of the Yomas I think are just badass. I love the one that well, see again, control Yoma auras and all that I think that's interesting. And each one of the Claymores has a specific special talent. Um and they have a little like moniker, a little nickname that goes along with it, except for Phoebe, right? Is it Phoebe? No, it's um Ophelia. Uh and, and she she gets one by the end kind of thing. But there's such a range of character uh, even though they're all kind of dressed the same and they're all freaking blonde, which annoys me. But, yeah. Uh, they Different also... haircuts. I love... Yeah, the, the haircuts is what you have to pay attention to. That and the symbols. And, of course, the way they talk. But even some of them are a little bit similar. But it's really fun to see their new powers. And it is kind of the Dragon Ball Z, like, level up thing. You know, like... Uh, it's, it's interesting to watch. KO can times ten. Yeah. And, um, again, the baddies are good. You, you get enough of the story that's very interesting. Um, so the anime is... I think a decent anime and very enjoyable basically from beginning to end. It's just that if you want to continue with these characters, don't watch the last two episodes or be prepared to be like, meh, if that didn't really happen, let's see what really happened. Right. Um, having said that though, the manga offers so much more complexity. This anime is so basic and streamlined and simple compared to the, the revelations that you have shortly afterwards. Cause you're like, what? You know, like, holy crap. Like, and it's super cool. But the anime stands on itself, and I think it's cool enough. What What about you? You know, I don't want to bogart this. Did uh, you like it? I, you don't I, seem to like it that much. Well, okay, um, hmm, how do I say that? I did like it. it. There is a lot to like, but something about it, and I really have no idea what, just doesn't jive with me. Something, and I'm not sure what, because it's got all the things that I love. It's also I, like Vampire Hunter D, right. where it's like a dampier, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like half vampire, half... Except in this case, it's half human, half Yoma. Well, and, and there's... Well, I, I don't want to give anything away, but that's not entirely true, I should say. Said no fan people out there like, well, no, she's technically... It's a, okay? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to avoid spoilers. Yes. Uh, <laughs> while covering our ass at the same time. Um, but yeah, so so it's got the claymores, you know, the great giant swords. It's got the cool, strong woman. It's got, you know, women, plural. Um, it's got the cool demon things. It's got, you know, uh, the endless walking through forests and the long river sides. It's just got so much stuff that I Queen love. Saga. <clears throat> exactly. But there's, but there's just something that I I don't know. It's just something something about it doesn't doesn't fulfill everything that I, I would love. I think you have penis envy. There's not enough wang in there for you. No, no, that's that's not it. I think I think there's not enough silly humor. I guess. Well, that's definitely true. It's not the funniest of of anime. You can you can derive some fun out of it, but most of these characters are very tormented. I, I do want to say that I do love this anime. This anime is awesome, but. There's just something missing, in my opinion, but I really have no idea what. Okay, well, I mean, maybe the humor's it, because I can understand that. If that, if you enjoy the anime with some injection of humor, this isn't really that. So it won't reach your top tier if it doesn't have that. So, But, again, it's very enjoyable. I love when, uh, you know, Japanese, the sensibility comes into more of a, you know, Western or whatever, like a Scottish medieval theme kind of thing. We get, the, like, the whole goddess and goddess, or, yeah, two goddesses and the claymores, right. and just kind of, it starts, the armor even, it's like it starts out, you know, it's kind of Celtic and kind of medieval, but it changes, and it's different per thing, just subtly different per warrior, and there's reasons for that, and I just love seeing their take on things that I'm familiar with, because when they, you know, process it and give it back, it's something that's totally new to me. It, I just I really enjoy it, and I see it here as well so yes and i love the bagpipes you know they use bagpipes every once in a while it's i just I, I like this a lot i think it's also my affinity for for the characters in the in the manga and if you're interested in reading the manga i highly recommend it 
Um, again, there are revelations in there that will be like, Wah! you know, like, what a twist, but <laughs> what in a good way, in a good way before he's screwed up. Oh, um, that's funny. So, yeah, I, I, I highly recommend it. I, I kind of put it off for a while because there were people that I trusted that were like, yeah, it's okay. You know, it's, it's, they were like, you know, the color palette is, is too dingy and it's just not fun and whatever. And I love all those things. I maybe, love all maybe that's things. it. Maybe it's just the dingy color. No, no, that can't be because I love it. It is more gray, but I love that. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, I, I don't know. I don't um, know what it is. Again, the, at the end, Claire becomes kind of a non-character to me, which is really sad. It's just those last two episodes that really check it out for me. Um, but it's still, it's interesting to see her kind of overcome her limits and all that stuff. And right. she's, she's number 47, so she's the, the bottom of the barrel. Oh, yeah, I guess we should talk about that. The, the entirety of the series is based on this single island, and the island is broken up into 47 districts. Uh, it's a big island, uh, and the, the island is broken up into 47 districts, and each district houses a claymore to, to kind of take care of that area. Um, Claire is the 47th, and let's say that one uh, claymore is removed, then they have to, should I give that away, make a claymore, but I don't want to, I, I don't know how else to say I, I, Yeah, I would so leave it at that, though. I wouldn't they, say They anymore, make claymore. So she's the weakest peon, and the other characters don't give her much respect at first, right. you know, kind of thing. But that's another thing, is, is you get... A bunch of different characters, you know, pseudo perspective right. on Claire and kind of the whole thing that's going on. And at one point, you know, they kind of band together and then they break apart and all that stuff. So it does have some interesting dynamics going on, and and it's fun to see kind of the organization against them and them against the organization and how things work and the respect, but the you know, the, actually it's non-respect, the fear and and pseudo respect, but hatred that people have for them right. because you know they are akin to the the yomas that they're trying to eradicate so it's one of those things again dampier i mean it, it does feel very familiar they just put new terminology in there and it's it's a very solid anime i i think from beginning to end and you know i was complaining about uh earlier this week about rising stars not having kind of a point to jump in and right they kind of just do a linear thing, which I think ends up hurting it, in my view, just because it's story, 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 and then something finally happens. This one has fun with the timeline, and you get, you know, a completely different character, right, almost right off the bat, right. Teresa, and she's a pivotal character just to the mood and the understanding of the Claymores, and I really enjoyed having that, and I loved it when it came back. It's like, oh, now we get to, you know, learn more about Claire and in this context, and I, I yeah, I thought it re worked really well. I highly regard it. It is, it is a very good anime, just something is missing it, in my opinion, but that shouldn't stop you from watching it. It is really great. I, I would say that it's not quite the caliber of, like, Helsing. I love Helsing. Yeah. And uh, what did we just watch? It was freaking phenomenal. Oh, Attack on Titan? Oh, yeah. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Although, there are similarities there, possibly. Anyway. A lot of limb cutting off. It, yeah. It's very... Uh, it's it's very close to upper tier, but I think there are you know plenty of animes that surpass it. But if you're interested in anime and you have not seen it, I definitely say you should see it. Agreed. All right, uh, and and manga too. It's it's on my list. Like Dead Man Wonderland and uh, Attack on Titan and Claymore are the three mangas that I am going to read at some point. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm I've finished Claymore. I'm going to start Attack and I'm going to finish Dead Man. I'm still catching up on Yotsuba, so. I don't even know what that is. That's it's it's from the same people who did Azum who did the same person who did Azumanga Dao. It's just about a little girl. I don't know who that is either. Oh, well, Azumanga Dao is a group of people. It, they're they're both really great mangas. If you haven't read those, get the uh, get the. Oh, uh, and Berserk. That's another. Oh, Berserk. Manga. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, Azumanga Dao and and y Yotsuba. I like I like stories about little young girls. I guess I don't. Yikes! That's I don't weird. know what's it. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes. Keep those recommendations coming, by the way. Yes, and Thank I, you. And please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at SpiderWolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will talk to you for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And hours. Not true. We're both blogging as well. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm um, blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, bits about the world I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry and uh, some other crap I don't know. So if you're interested, go ahead and How read How compelling. That. Yes. All right, guys. See you later. Teresa, guide my aim. Oh. Oh.
Yes. <laughs> Didn't you know? Is that true? Thank you, Teresa. No. no. Look at yes. this. Yes. Look at this. You have had the curse. Well, yes, yeah, jammed in there. That happened oh, to me all the time. Oh, that's what that is. Yes, the curse has been passed as long as I shoot with one chamber only. <laughs> Coming up, it's Plunkett and McLean. No, it works for me, man. Actually, it's two chambers. These two chambers, they work for me. I'm gonna sharpie them right now. Sharpie. I'm literally gonna do it. Doing it. The curse now. It's all yours, buddy. Enjoy. And <laughs> <laughs> now I know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. Or pointless, depending on who you ask. Huh.